Ever seen a turtle lay her eggs? Well, just off the coast of Sandakan in Malaysian Borneo is the Turtle Island Marine Park. This protected area is home to three islands that are important nesting grounds for green and hawksbill turtles. Sailing Gun Island or Turtle Island is the only one open to visitors and here you can book an overnight stay to witness the turtles laying their eggs on the beach. So never did I think that this morning we would be starting by seeing another mother turtle. And in this video, I traveled to Sailing Gun Island to not only enjoy the island itself, but also witness this incredible piece of nature. Good morning, guys. It is about 9.30 here in Sandakan, and today I'm gonna to be leaving to Sailing Gun Island, which is one of the three turtle islands. Now, this is the only island that is open to visitors, and if you wanna visit the island, the only place that you're gonna be able to get a chalet is through Crystal Quest. They are the only operator of chalets on the island, so I'm really excited to go and check out the island with them as well as learn about the sea turtles. The boat to Sailing Gun Island departs from the jetty at exactly 10 a.m. So be on time for your registration beforehand. You will also need to book this trip ahead of time and depending on the conditions at sea, the trip to the actual island could take up to an hour. Whoa. Oh man, after 40 minutes on that boat where I was like constantly knocking my head against the pole, we have arrived and the water already is insanely crystal clear. I cannot even wait to go and have a little snorkel. But I believe we're first gonna go into like an information point and then get into our chalets before we can actually enjoy the afternoon. But I'm really excited that we have landed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we're at the info, like uh, we were gonna get our briefing and uh, I peeked through the window and there, behind me guys is the turtle hatchery already so here on uh, Selegan Island as well as other turtle islands you have two types of turtles that come here and lay their eggs which are the green turtles and the hawksbill turtles and here basically what they do is they take the eggs so that they don't have any uh, predators or um, any threats and they put them in a hatchery so here the eggs are laid down so that they definitely will be able to turn into little turtles and then they'll get released but the funny thing is depending on the temperature of the soil it will also determine if it becomes a female or if it becomes a male so i think the hotter the temperature it becomes a female if at a lower temperature it will become a male so here we have the ones in the sun but in the back there all the way in the back they have them in the shade so i'm guessing that that means that these will become females and those which we can't see properly now but all the way in the back there will turn into males so of course it's really cool that they can dictate you know uh, the, that enough become females and enough become males because currently due to climate change and the rising temperatures, it also means that there's an increase of female population, which can be quite detrimental because you need both males and females in the ecosystem. So that is what they're doing here by adding hatcheries and the nests in the shade, as well as in the sun. Well, I think it's really awesome that the first thing that you see once you get into like that uh, briefing area or the lunch area or whatever it is, so you see the hatcheries because it really reminds me of why we're actually here and that is for the turtles. And I'm really excited because we have a very interesting, nice program this evening where we'll actually see a mother turtle laying her eggs and uh, the collecting of the eggs. So that is all cool. But for today, this afternoon, we get to enjoy the island and uh, enjoy the waters a bit, which I love a good snorkel session. So I'm happy with that. Anyways, I've just got on the keys. So I'll show you guys around uh, Crystal Quest's uh, chalet that I've got. Uh, am I walking into the right building? Nope, I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am in building B. Well, welcome to Mikasa. I mean, it's a pretty simple but uh, quite comfortable looking room. I've got uh, twin beds for just me, so I'll use this one and my bag can use that one over there. It's also nice because there's a fan and an AC, and I don't know if you might be able to tell again from my face, but it is very hot outside. I'm sweating so bad, so I'm gonna just have the fan on, uh, and then only if necessary, I'll add the AC, but it's nice that you have that option as well. Through here, we have the bathroom, which is quite simple. There's a shower. Now, there is no hot water here, but um, yeah, I don't think you really need it because it's so hot outside. Uh, I think it's fantastic that you have a shower in the first place anyways. 
so you can freshen up, wash off the salt and all of that. And like I said, you don't really need hot water when it's that hot outside. <laughs> so I think it's going to be quite nice to have that shower. Anyway, this is this type of chalets that they are providing while you're on the island. And uh, when you book with them, it's just uh, a night stay anyway. So uh, you won't really need much. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty comfortable actually. I'm saying goodbye to the chalet and to the big camera because I want to actually go onto the GoPro now so I can get some snorkeling equipment and make my way to the beach and go uh, check out a little bit of snorkel before we start uh, start the lunch. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an indication of the work that is being done here because um, the turtle monitoring happening here on Sabah, on Borneo, Malaysian Borneo, is one of the oldest uh, established conservation program around turtles. Now their research also has some of the most extensive data on turtles. So what they do here is a couple of things. First of all, they tag new turtles that come onto the beach so that they can also monitor them when they come back to the beach again and they can see how they've grown, if there's any damage to them or stuff like that, see how healthy they are. They also have the hatcheries uh, to make sure that the, our turtles are not facing as many threats uh, before going out into the waters. And then they also have like the release programs as well as monitoring uh, the beaches and this, uh, this actual like marine national park. So that all in all is really cool. It's really lovely to know that there are some places in the world where they are dedicating so much conservation and research to turtles because yeah, turtles are facing many threats throughout the world. But uh, yeah, it's really cool to see that they are doing this. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for tonight, but I'm also excited for a snorkel. So maybe a five or a four, yeah. <coughs> this? Okay, let me show you. No walking on the beach after 6 p.m. Now, not walking on the beach after 6 p.m. isn't because they want to take away your fun. It's actually because, uh, yeah, there are turtles coming onto the beach to nest, so they don't want you to be walking around then. So, all good. I'm really very excited because the water is crystal clear, so I'm hoping that there's also a lot of life in the ocean. Time to get our stuff on and then we can go check it out. Okay, that was just a brief little snorkel and uh, that is because it is now 12.30, which means it is time for lunch. So we've got quite a few hours until the evening program actually starts. So what I'm going to do now is make a little U around the island because you can walk around most of it except for one part that is, I don't know, just for a station and uh, during low tide it's the reef. Well, I've got to say, the island is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I think one, that is one of the best sounds in the world. <laughs> the sound of waves. It always makes me so happy to be near the ocean. And this water is so crystal clear. The island is definitely great. I love that in the afternoon you're getting some time to actually relax a little bit before you go into the night program. Because it means that you get to swim, you get to relax on the beach before you actually get started in the evening. There are actually people who stay here 24 seven and those are the wardens. They keep an around the clock eye on the turtles, on the nests, on the hatchery, all of that type of stuff. So they are constantly monitoring uh, the turtles that come onto the island and uh, to document that. So I think that's really cool, despite the island being extremely beautiful and me being very curious to go and have a walk around, I'm just way too hot to do that. So instead of actually walking around and trying to see some of the island, I'm going to enjoy it on the beach with my snorkel set, my book, and uh, relax a little bit and actually soak up some of this island's goodness. is coming in so it's getting a little bit chills also the sun is going down so it's definitely cooling a bit but I wanted to go to reception to go get a beer and I spotted all these like I don't know if you can see them now as I show you but big holes basically these are where the turtles come and they dig and they put their eggs in so oh, turtle mommies were here before
Cheers. Cheers. Yay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We have arrived at our spot for sunset and unfortunately I don't think we're going to be seeing much of the sun setting because there are so many clouds and actually I just heard the thunder like very hard and those clouds there in the back but that doesn't matter because still it is very beautiful here and actually I'm so obsessed with uh, tracks or like spores of animals and there's so much going on in the sand here so I'll show you guys. So the first thing that I saw here was this like track over here. But I'm guessing that this is not a turtle. Maybe this is like a monitor lizard or something. Because I can see like a drag mark, which could be the belly. And then you have like these claw marks. Here they're not so visible anymore. Um, leading into like the plants there. And you can definitely see the difference between that and what I'm presuming is a turtle. First of all, here again, we've got those big digging holes. But here you can actually see the tracks of the turtle as well. So I'll turn the camera around for you guys. So here leading from the ocean obviously is you have like these thick drag marks which i'm guessing is the turtle belly and then like these like pushed over things so that could be like the uh, well i think they're called flippers but it's just crazy because some of these holes that they are digging to lay their nests are so so deep so these mama turtles are definitely doing their best to dig a good hole for their potential offspring uh, I think it's quite incredible to see so seeing all of this now I'm so looking forward to this evening where we're actually going to be able to witness this now one thing that has been told us we will not be able to film tonight for that you would need a permit so I'll just take a, a lot of pictures or see what I can do and then add them into the video later but for now we're going to enjoy the sunset okay well it seems like we had the wrong information and we're sitting at the wrong part of the island so we never actually saw the sunset so I'm gonna try and catch the last little bit now oh my word <laughs> Okay, I think there was probably a glorious sunset that we missed but this is still pretty beautiful But now the sun has definitely set, so it's time for dinner and eye briefing so that we can get into the evening program. The start of the evening program was an informational video about turtles, the island and the program they have here, and of course, some dinner. It's ancestors for terrestrial reptiles. Ancient... There are tons of flying foxes here in the, in the tree. So hopefully they start squealing again so you guys can actually hear that. Anyways, the cool thing here is, you know, turtles, because of the heat during the day, will not come and nest. And also... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I saw it. I saw it flying. <laughs> yeah, so turtles, because of the heat, will only come onto the, the island usually to nest at night. As well as the turtles uh, that come out, they'll also get, uh, hatch usually during the evening when the sun goes down because of the heat. So that is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the call to go out for us to actually be able to see a mama turtle laying her eggs and uh, also see how they... Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> yeah, the bats, the flying fox is really cool. Um, but also to see them collect the eggs to go into the hatcheries because obviously turtle eggs have a lot of predators like monitor lizards and uh, stuff like that. So they will be dug up and then brought to the hatcheries. I am watching two bats attack each other in the tree there. That is insane. I can just see like their little eyes shine. But they are up there. Okay, we've got the message. Turtle time. Like I mentioned earlier, it is prohibited to film any of the evening program on the island unless you have a permit, so I took tons of photos. When we arrived on the beach, we saw this massive turtle. When a turtle comes to the beach, she will first dig a hole and after this she goes into like a meditative trance-like state to actually lay her eggs. On the islands here, turtles are measured and tagged in case they have not been tagged before and this is purely for research purposes. Once a turtle is done, rangers will collect the eggs and bring them to the hatchery. Here the eggs will be safe from any predators, the elements and from poachers, giving more turtles the opportunity to hatch and end in the ocean. 
Turtles are keystone species for the ocean ecosystems but face many threats, so ensuring that enough offspring make it to hatching and to the sea is critical for their survival. Seeing this process up close was incredible and also a bit strange. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay around too long because the heavens decided to open up to some heavy rains. Oh man, okay, you guys are probably also like really weird. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to go to the hatchery, but it is raining so hard, like I'm drenched to the bone. It's a really cool experience, but I wish that we could have stayed a little bit longer or at least not have been uh, rushed up by the, by the rain. Okay, so step one of the program was to see the mother turtle laying her eggs and now we get to go to step two now that it's drizzling instead of bucketing down. So we're going to go to the hatchery and see the babies, uh, which will be released and they get released at night so that they're not as visible to predators. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty cool experience as well. It's quite an intense <laughs> evening, but this is what you get when it's all nature, right? Like nature doesn't run on a schedule. So yeah, the rain, it is what it is. Uh, the experience is still very lovely. Over 100 eggs were laid by this mama turtle. Once the eggs are collected, the eggs are put away safely in the hatchery. The nest is then marked with the date, which type of turtle the eggs belong to, and how many eggs are actually in the nest. This is all so they can keep track of when the nest should hatch. It will take around 60 days for a nest to actually hatch, and once they come out, which is usually at night, the turtles will use the moon as an orientation to find the ocean. In total, only about 1% of all the babies will end up in the ocean and survive. Later in life, the female marine turtles will use various techniques such as navigating the Earth's magnetic field to get themselves back to the beach where they were born so they can also lay their eggs here. Unfortunately, in many places around the world, these females return to find buildings, beachgoers, trash and many other obstacles that make their turn a lot harder. Luckily, here at Turtle Island, they have a safe haven to return to. I am back in my room, but because of the rain, I feel like everything was just like wah, 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 happening because we're also trying to not be out in the heavy rain. Then it stopped a bit, started again. We're trying to fight the lightning, so um, or beat the lightning actually, because you can't fight that. Uh, so it was just, uh, it was a uh, very fast. Now I think this overall was such a cool experience to see this whole piece of nature you know this whole cycle happen and uh, I feel uh, very grateful that we could be a part of it Okay, so never did I think that this morning we would be starting by seeing another mother turtle. Now again, I can't take actual video of the turtle uh, laying her eggs and doing her thing, so I'll insert the photo, but how cool that we got to see this. Like, I don't think anybody's focused on the sunrise, to be honest. It's actually so crazy, because what they were also saying is that between the time that a turtle is a baby versus when it is a mature adult they don't know what happens to the turtle in between them how they're surviving out in the ocean so we're seeing like all these little creatures going into the ocean but then how they end up to maturity and then coming back to this island to lay their eggs nobody knows we only know that once they mature how they behave in the ocean but uh, until they reach that point apparently there's no data on that crazy thought right I'm heading back now to the cabana to get my stuff because it is time for breakfast. But what an incredible morning. I've got to say, like compared to yesterday where we had so much rain, to see this mom turtle on the beach now and to see how the eggs are getting collected in daylight, definitely made up for it because we actually got the time to look at the mama turtle, see her covering the hole that she was putting the eggs in and stuff like that. And this for me was just so much less rushed and um, yeah, it felt less stressful. The rain yesterday didn't make it easy because I have a phone and a camera and everything and the rain is going and 
it's just like uh, yeah it was all over the place but this morning was so awesome and I'm so grateful I'm so grateful for the experience that I had here on Turtle Island on Selingan Island <laughs> and uh, getting to stay with Crystal Quest so yeah, this is where I'm going to round off the video, go get some breakfast and then head back to Sundakan. If you guys enjoy this type of content to do with travel and wildlife, then definitely subscribe to my channel because that is what my channel is all about. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!